on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hi, everybody. I'm not Lori and I'm not Korean. I'm Lisa. Welcome to the Chill Spot. Today is Monday, November 18th. The month is clipping by very quickly. And I have a very serious topic I would like to talk about today. First of all, I want to tell you a little story about myself. Uh, I'm a registered nurse. In the early 1990s, I was working in the intensive care unit. Um, a good friend of mine and I, neither one of us smoked cigarettes. We decided that in order to be able to take a break, we were going to steal a couple of cigarettes from a friend and go outside and smoke. And so this was the days when you could actually smoke on campus outside the back door of the hospital. And so we went outside so we could look like the uh, cool kids, so to speak. And we each lit a cigarette and took a couple of puffs. I immediately got dizzy, and so did she. And we put our cigarettes out, and I was so sick, I didn't think I was going to be able to walk back up to the intensive care unit to finish my shift. I couldn't believe it. That is my one and only experience with cigarette smoking. So I have to, uh, full disclosure here, tell you that I'm not a cigarette smoker, so I don't know what it's like to try to quit. But I do have to tell you that on Thursday, November 21st, is the annual Great American Smokeout. Now, contrary to what you might think, it doesn't mean to go out and light up your cigarettes and smoke away. This is a day that the American Cancer Society has celebrated for years to try to get a focus on smoking cessation. And they have all kinds of resources available to help you stop smoking. Now, I don't think it's any surprise to anybody that it seems like in healthcare, there are more of us who smoke than out in the regular world, so to speak. And that's always been um, a mystery to me how that can happen with the ill effects of cigarette smoking. But I think that a lot of people probably smoke out of stress and habit and things like that. But there is hope that you can quit smoking. Quitting smoking isn't easy, and it doesn't have to be done in one day. It takes time, and it takes a plan. Um, you can start with one day, and make that one day this Thursday, November 21st, the Great American Smokeout. Get together with some of your friends that you usually go out and do your breathing treatments with outside in the smoking hut or however they have it at, at your place of work. Get together with your friends and start your journey toward a smoke-free life. It's going to be better for your health and it's going to save you a few dollars in your pocket because I don't, I haven't bought any cigarettes here lately for anyone, but the last time I did, I was astounded at the price. Um, if you do participate in the Great American Smoke Out this Thursday, you're going to be joining thousands of other people who are doing the same thing. They have online communities for support. They have toll-free numbers. They have suggestions all kinds of resources. So Google the Great American Smokeout and go to that website and access some of those resources and the support that you need to quit. More than 34 million Americans still smoke cigarettes. That is shocking to me. Smoking causes an average of about 480,000 deaths each year. One in five deaths is smoking related. Smoking remains the single largest preventable cause of death and illness in the world. I'm going to repeat that. Smoking is the single largest preventable cause of death and illness in the world. So it's probably time to stop. Um, more than 16 million Americans live with a smoking-related disease. Uh, the smoking rate has dropped from 42% in 1965 to 14% in 2017. That's a, quite a drop. But 
The gains have been inconsistent and we still have a long way to go. It seems like the younger generation is picking up the smoking and the cigarette habit. So, don't be like me. Don't pick up cigarettes and try them to be one of the cool kids. Quit smoking. Try it. Support your friends, support your coworkers, support your family, and they'll do the same. The Great American Smokeout, November 21st, because you matter.